Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. And today, this is a bit of an unscripted video, but I did have both of these machines in the studio and I thought, you know what, this would be a, a neat opportunity to film both of these side by side. So what I have here is the T430S and the T430. Both of these have been featured on the channel already and I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner throughout the video where you can see both of those videos. The very first thing that I should probably say is that if you're looking for which one of these is better, it's pretty much a no contest win to the T430. The T430 has a myriad of things up on the T430S. Now, just to start off, you do have socketed CPUs. It's considerably easier to modify. You have more battery options. You have better battery capacity, even at the lowest battery that's available for this thing. And it just generally has more features. It's more favored in the community, uh, just full out. One thing that the T430S definitely has going for it is thinness. However, when you do have the machine side by side, it is very difficult to care about just thinness alone. The T430S did come in the top configuration in the i7 that was available with a Thunderbolt port instead of mini display port, but it did give up its dedicated GPU option in that configuration. When you see these two side by side, it does really make you wonder why on earth would you choose the T430S over the T430. And you know, that is a question that I think we would need to look at historically rather than contemporarily. Because if you were to go out right now and buy one of these used, the T430 is probably going to be by and large the better choice if you plan on doing any upgrading to it whatsoever. However, if you're going to be very happy with the configuration that you bought and battery life is not a huge concern, then the T430S definitely has a little bit of attractive nature to it. In terms of what they offer though, very, very similar. And I'll just stack them on top of one another. And as you can see on the right hand side, both of them have an optical drive. The T430 has a USB port as well as the express card port located right there with the insert. The Wi-Fi kill switch is also located on the T430S on the right hand side. On the back, more this is where things get a bit more unique. The battery of course on the T430 takes up the majority of the space leaving your ethernet port a always on USB and then your barrel plug for charging. On the top, the T430S has the barrel plug, of course. It has Ethernet. It has the USB 3.0. This one has Thunderbolt. It does have your always-on port, and this is where they've chosen to put the VGA connector. And then finally, on the left-hand side of both of the machines, we do have the exhaust vent. The VGA on the T430 is located here, along with the headphone microphone combo jack on both units as well as access to the hard drive. And on the T430S, we do have a variety of ports at the bottom, including mini display port and two USB 3.0. Only one USB 3.0 is on this side. And then we have a card reader here on the T430S, which is actually doubling as the express card slot. This is actually just an insert. So that is a way of saving some space if you have someone that's not likely to need both of those things at the exact same time. And then along the front, there are practically no differences to be seen here. Both of them have a latch system to gain access to the innards of the laptop. I should also point out that the T40 has the SD card slot just beneath the express card slot. So in terms of ports, that's kind of how they compare. And to be honest, it really will come down in the year 2021, which one of these you would prefer as personal preference. Again, if battery life is not a concern for you and you can find one of the i7 configurations of the T430S, there's really nothing wrong with it. It is lighter. There is no question about that. Granted that I do have the extended battery on this T430, but this one is definitely a little thinner, a little lighter, but the build quality essentially remains the same. 
when these came out, the T430S was considerably the black sheep. I think that the only thing that would really attract people to it then would probably be the Thunderbolt connection if you needed it. But even then, it was very much in its infancy. At any rate, folks, I hope you enjoyed this very quick look comparing these two laptops. Again, I think the differences in 2021 matter a little bit less than they did way back when these machines were released. Because if you're looking at purchasing either one of these, it's probably for very different reasons. If you want to upgrade the heck out of it, tinker, then the T430 is definitely hands down, no question, the one to go for. However, if you're just looking for a computer, the average consumer probably won't mind between the two of these, so long as battery life isn't super important. Again, that T430S is a battery. It's just a little bit anemic. I hope you enjoy this sort of content. If you do have questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And that way you'll be notified the next time I do a ThinkPad comparison on this channel. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.